As you may have observed, additive manufacturing is becoming increasingly popular in the automobile industry, and many vehicles are being manufactured in part, or fully utilizing 3D printing technology. In this video, we'll look at five fascinating 3D printed vehicles. Before we begin, hit the like and subscribe buttons to receive notifications about similar videos in the future. I don't want to insult you, but you humans aren't that great at this driving thing. You bump into each other, you clog the same routes at the same time, and you're overwhelming the earth with pollution. It's getting bad out there, but I can help. Hi, I'm Ollie, and I would like to be your driver. I'm a self-driving electric vehicle meant for multiple people and optimal flexibility, designed from the ground up by local motors to be the next generation of mobility. I can operate like a chartered shuttle, run like a taxi service, or maneuver like a network of interconnected pods. I am the first of the robots that are taking over. Kneel at your new master. I jest. While I can see in 360 degrees and can make decisions hundreds of times faster than you, I am monitored at all times by a central human operator. So, you can feel completely safe while I'm in charge. I'd love to help move people across your town, or zip students across campus. Or maybe I will fill a new niche for you. A mobile gym, anyone? A bus cafe hybrid? How about a meeting that actually picks up its attendees? I just blew your mind a bit, didn't I? I can't wait to see where we'll go together. All you have to do is to call me up through your smart device and leave the driving to me. Get to know me over at meetolly.auto and learn how forward-thinking transportation will make the world and how you get to point B more efficient and enjoyable. I'm Ollie, your friendly neighborhood mobility solution. This is a huge day in automotive history. Not only is it the day where Ford Motor Company was incorporated June 16th, 1903, but also it's the day where we got people comfortable with the idea of riding around in a completely self-driving vehicle. I'm Jay Rogers and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Local Motors. I am the first cognitively enabled vehicle. I seat 12 passengers. And you can ask me anything. Ali, why don't you say hello? Hi everyone, my name is Ali. I'm a self-driving vehicle powered by IBM Watson technology. I can help people get around National Harbor. Ali, I'm hungry. Where can I get some food? National Harbor has some great seafood. Would you like that? That sounds great. What's good? Well then, try the Crab Cake Cafe. All right, I'll go there for dinner. Okay, but don't forget your umbrella. There is a severe thunderstorm warning tonight. The sensor set on this vehicle allows us to be able to feed data to Watson and feed data back to Ollie to make life more enjoyable. Thanks, Ollie. By the way, I like your bow tie. <laughs> I'm what's next in automotive innovation. I come from Jay and the engineers at Local Motors. Local Motors is a technology company that it's here to revolutionize a 120 year history of the way that vehicles are made. I still remember the first time someone told me about Local Motors and they said, we have a 3D printed car. And then I saw their vision in projects like Ollie. You're going to see this shift. You're going to see the vehicles become more highly automated, ultimately autonomous. You're going to see vehicles become uh, cognitive. And so Watson IoT Auto Lab is very much around the future of that cognitive experience. Not all of the information, not all of the capability for the vehicle is now going to be on vehicle, be enhanced by things in the cloud. And the best part, this is just a start. I'm about to go global. Uh, by the end of the year, you'll see Ollie in Copenhagen, and you'll see him in uh, Las Vegas, you'll see him in Miami-Dade County, and several other places around the world. I can create a platform for all developers to engage and shape the future of self-driving vehicles. We co-create. It's our people and their people together, side by side, creating the future of cognitive mobility. It was very exciting to us when IBM approached us and said, could we partner with you and putting Watson IoT into one of your vehicle sets, and could we do it quickly? And you have to be able to ask questions, just like my passenger asks me, are we there yet? 
you can ask Ollie these same questions. The world of IoT is moving at lightning speed. The only way to stay ahead of that game and to be a player in that game is to be able to innovate as quickly as possible, be able to assemble and deploy solutions as quickly as possible, and that's what Local Motors is trying to do, and that's definitely what IBM Watson IoT is doing. We started on this project three months ago, and three months ago doesn't mean we made a prototype. We sold our first 10 Ollies today. That's a dream, and, and it's possible because of all this technology. Well, so long for now. My name is Ollie. It was sure nice to meet you. If you actually do a life cycle analysis, that is to start from the very beginnings of taking the ore out of the ground and then calculating the environmental impact all the way to the end when you recycle the car, an electric car is not that environmentally friendly. I learned that lesson really by having built a large format all electric car, looking at that full life cycle. The data showed that the manufacturing parts have a far greater impact than the tailpipe exhaust. We've gone from that world where there was this endless growth to one where we're filling up the planet. What we're doing is taking 3D printing manufacturing and assembly that then empowers car makers, whether they're big like PSA or smaller teams that are independent, implementing that on real production cars that will go out in volume. We looked at how the 3D printing of plastic was accelerating and realized that there was a roadmap for 3D printing of metal to actually be a reasonable way to manufacture a car. It's making them safer, higher performing, more fuel efficient, environmentally friendly. We're a technology company that's focused on other companies. We want to partner with them and build cars that are based off of our divergent platform. Our car, Blade, is about demonstrating the technology is fully functional. They're literally replacing a billion dollar plus factory with probably less than $50 million of printing and assembly equipment. What you have here is an opportunity to enable local producers to produce cars at smaller volumes without having the same capital barrier to entry. Most machines used in manufacturing have limitations. With 3D printing, those limitations go away. Cosmetic things like color, 
or textures or fabrics, people who want to develop products in a much more democratic sort of way, they can personalize them more. These materials outperform existing materials that would be used for the structure of a car. We've done the things that a large car company would want done at every step of the way. We have a strategic partnership with PSA where we're looking at doing more high volume vehicles. We're certainly trying to find ways to be more efficient, being more conscious of the environmental impact. We're trying to change the way that things have been done for the past hundred years. The small incremental steps that have been taken to the way we build cars is not enough to save the planet. The UN says vehicle manufacturing is the most damaging human activity. The mission of this place is to replace planet-destroying manufacturing with planet-saving manufacturing.